Hey, what's up you guys? I'm here back with another video on Pokemon Scarlet and we're about to tackle the first bug type gym in the game and I figured I'd record it all for anybody who's interested in seeing how the gameplay looks and whatnot. And this is the first gym. I don't know the format. I don't know the challenges or anything. So I figured let's just go for it and see how it goes. So we're right here. See? This is our first gym. Let's see how many times I could say that in a video. And um, this is, let's find out. I'll tell you exactly where we are. We are in Southern Province Area 2. Cool. So let's just go for it. So this is my team right now. We got Gimme Ghoul, Wooper, um, the evolution of Sprigatito. We have uh, uh, Luxio, Fido, and Swablu. So I know personally, oh, I don't need to go to that. I know personally, not personally, everyone knows that um, Swablu has an advantage because it's a flying type and bugs are weak against flying types. And I think they're also weak against rock. I believe we'll find out. Nimona. Oh, hey, Chris. Come to see the gym, huh? That can only mean one thing. You're out to earn some gym badges and take on the Pokemon League, aren't you? Sure, why not? Yes, I knew it. I'm so glad I asked you to do it. Thanks, Nimona. Before you can battle the gym leader, you've got to pass a certain cha certain challenge set by them. Their gym test. So this is kind of going to be kind of like the Alolan test. Um, we'll find out. Let's. Every gym test is different. If you ask the lobby staff about it, they'll tell you what's up. Okay, cool. Here, have these. When you use them, consider it. Um, consider it me healing up your Pokemon. You obtained super potions. putting up the volume there okay uh you put the super potions in the bag oh, i'm glad you came um you're aiming to be a champion too this is the best news ever man i'm so excited i can barely stand it stand still guess i'll just go battle every trainer i run into she's very battle happy who are you oh hello it's like a little seating area very nice so be careful. Careful you don't end up rolling a small of instead of an olive ball. Interesting. I guess that's a hint of our test. Welcome to the Cartondo Cordondo Gym. Let me register you as a challenger. Your name is Chris, yes? Yep. Now, in order to face gym leader Katie, you must first need to pass the gym test. Here at the Corton. Corando gym that means taking the olive roll okay so this is what the guy was referencing olive production is a big part of our life in Cortondo. i'm pretty sure that is true in spain too we've held an olive harvest festival here each year for generations to you to usher in bumper crops to pass our gym test you'll need to roll an olive shaped ball all the way to the goal your efforts should help ensue, ensure we get a great olive harvest next year. The staffer over at the olive rolling field will explain the rules in further detail. I'll register the location on your map. It'll be north of the town. Okay, cool. Okay, so let's go. <laughs> let's go. And take part in our test. Okay, so is it all the way up there? Maybe I don't see it marked on my map. Let's take a, a closer look. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we're going to go here. And I guess we're going to go this way. Got to leave town first. And we're going to hop them right on. 
And you know what? I'm actually going to start with Gimme Ghoul just because um, he's a little underleveled comparatively. And then if he starts failing, I'll, I'll switch him out with Swablu. Okay, let's go. Try the olive roll right here. Ooh, that is a giant olive ball. Welcome to the olive rolling field. This gym test is all about stamina. You need to push with all you've got to get a large olive bowl rolling and make it all the way to the end. Get the ball over various obstacles, then push it into the goal to clear the course. Now you're all filled in. Are you ready to start the gym test? Of course we are. Let's see. Great, put in a wish for a good olive harvest and roll, roll, roll away. We're gonna roll away. Okay, I've noticed these transitions take a little while sometimes. Okay, so is this by myself? I can't even use Maridon. Figures. Take on the test. Three, two, one. Let's go! Do, do, do. Oh, it just okay. Okay, I mean, it doesn't seem that hard. I just don't want it bouncing out of bounds. I don't know if it'll let it. Okay, so I don't want to run into you. So we're going to go the long way. I think the goal there is like you can battle them and they'll let you pass, but I'm going to take the requested route. Or the obvious route, rather. And I noticed that we're not being timed either, so I guess this is really just a, you know, do what you will situation. Hmm. Okay. Okay, yeah, so. Shouldn't be too hard. Can I not shut? Yeah, I thought it could go over. Okay. Cool. There we go. This isn't as hard as I thought it would be. I'm wondering if they're going to make me do it a second time with different obstacles. But we'll find out shortly. Okay. There we go. Right into there. Perfect. That's it, we pop. I guess it makes sense for the first gym. Excuse me, guys. I gotta crack open a nice seltzer. We got a nice seltzer over here. And I just spilled it all over my desk. I'm the worst. Okay. So let's get back into it. Um, with that performance, I'm sure we can look forward to a great olive harvest next year. I'm happy to declare your gym test officially cleared. Congratulations. Please report your results to the lobby staffer at the gym. Good luck in your battle against Katie. Okay, so we're going against gym leader Katie. Gym leader Katie. Super exciting. Um, so I guess we'll go this way. Look at all the jiggly puffs and iggly tufts. Hi, guys. Okay. Let's pop over here. I will say riding a Maridon is very useful. You definitely need it. Okay, let's talk to this dude. Welcome back, Chris. I hear you're on a roll out there. Big congratulations from me for successfully clearing the gym test. You've now earned the right to challenge the gym leader. Best of luck. Okay. Are you ready to challenge the gym leader, Katie? The sugar bug? Katie the sugar bug. Okay. Very well. Allow me to show you to the battle court. Let's go. Let's say go! Okay. 
There she is. Get a good look, guys, here. I'm even going to get rid of the camera for a minute. There we go, look. Aww. She looks nice. At least I think so. Oh, did you forget to introduce myself? Forgive me, I'm Katie. My name is Katie. I'm the owner here at um, Patsiria Soapberry. What? Oh, that's right. I'm not at my shop. I'm on duty as leader of the Cortano gym right now. Okay. Forgive me. Ahem. My name is Katie, and I'm the gym leader here at Cortando. The only lot of work is crafting sweets as a pastry shop. Oh, that's kind of cute. Um, just one, uh, little sweets that bring happiness is just one bite. Bug-type Pokemon hidden in foliage. Both are small, yet very powerful. Okay. Don't let your guard down unless you would like to find yourself knocked off your feet. Okay, guys. So, I'm back. Wait a second. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Ew, that, I don't even know what... I mean, obviously it's a bug type, but I don't know if it's a dual type. What level is she starting off with? Don't take my bug type Pokemon lightly. You will be in a world of pain if you do. Ooh, she talks big. Okay, so it's only one level stronger, so we might be able to, like, you know, get a little bit. Perfect, only did three damage to us. We're looking good. As long as Gimme Ghoul doesn't do, like, hard, like very little damage, we should be chilling. Okay, yeah, yeah, we could definitely take it down. I just want it to get at least one good, like, Pokemon down. Okay. Oh, status fell. <laughs> oh, but his speed rose. Cool. So, I'm gonna assume, this is my guess. I, again, I have not played this. I have not figured out um, any... I, this is the first time I'm seeing this gym leader. I haven't, I haven't looked into this. I'm assuming from the trailer how the grass type gym leader used a pseudo Udo, which is technically like ground type, and then terrestrialized it to a grass type. I think she's gonna do the same. I think we're gonna get a, a, a Pokemon that is normally not grass, and then she'll bring out, she'll terrestrialize it to make it grass. But who knows? We will find out. Okay. So my speed, let's, wait, out of curiosity, let's take a quick peek. So if you check status, you could actually see status effects. So my special attack went down four times, but my speed went up twice. This is also a cool, just new ability, guys. Okay, and his status is fine. Um, but it still looks like we're gonna beat him, so it's no biggie. Actually, I didn't even check. We should check to see what type of move astonishes is that okay yeah so that's not even special attack that's a physical attack move so we're looking good and i'll probably swap him out here and throw in swap blue or maybe give another guy a shot let's see what she throws out uh katie's about to run tula which is another bug type um Let's see, am I... I guess we could throw out Wooper. And we'll save Swablu for the last, because Swablu is the strongest Pokemon we got. Go, Wooper. Aw, oh, look at his little body. Okay, yeah, we saw that dude. Okay, so yeah, he is not very effective ground-wise, but I figured we can try to poison him and see how that works out for us, you know? 
Oh, yeah. Okay. It, it, it's... We're gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine, guys. Okay. And now it's poisoned. Solid. There we go. Looks like we could take it out just straight poisoning. Um, that poison move. What is it? Poison tail? Yeah, we're we're chilling. Oof. There we go. Okay. Uh, Teddy Ursa, you see? So it's gonna turn into a bug type. But right now, it's, uh, it's, I don't know if she's gonna terrestrialize it right off the bat. Um, whatever, we'll throw out Luxio. And I'm sure he's strong enough to keep it, like, to keep up against it. Oh, and we also got our shiny little boy. Oh, you're quite good, aren't you? H how should I roll things out from here? Oh my god, is Teddy Ursa gonna know rollout? Is this gonna be our version of the mill tank? But like, early on. I'm gonna terrestrialize, because why not? Um, and I don't really have that great of- Ah, we're gonna go for it anyway. Let's do this. Perfect. We got a little light bulb on his head. These things are like so silly. Now my little Pokemon, time to break free form from your cocoon and come into your own. Okay, she's gonna terrestrialize it too. I thought I would have gotten at least one turn, but it makes sense. Well, oh, that's cute. He's got little horns. Look at him. Guys, that Teddy Ursa is so cute. I hear very similar chanting to that in um, Sword and Shield. Feast your eyes on my shining bug decoration. Okay, Fury Cutter. Furry Cutter. Fury Cutter. He's furry. Get it? Okay. Nah, we could take him though. We're gonna take him out. Maybe we'll be able to paralyze him too. Ah, so close. Ooh. Very interesting. And Thundershock. Cool. And I think we won, guys. Look at the little fur texture. I really like how they updated these models. Okay. Aww. All of my sweet little Pokemon dropped like flies. Yeah, they did. Who you think we are messing with? Okay. Congratulations, you passed. As proof of your victory against me, the gym leader, allow me to present you with a, this gym badge. I hope you enjoy it alongside a heaping serving of m some of my delicious handmade treats. Oh, that's really cute. Look at that. That is really cute, guys. I love that. Oh, and this is her shop. Okay, I saw this earlier and I couldn't, like, someone was there. With one gym badge in your possession, Pokemon up to level 25 will be easier to catch and will listen to your commands as well. I see you have quite the appetite as well. How about a little TM as the frosting on this cake? Pounce. Okay, cool. Can't complain with that. 
You put pounds into your bag. Once you've found the TM during your travels, then you can use the TM machine to make copies. Interesting. That I didn't know. Yeah, I didn't know that. I wish you luck in your future adventures. May they be as sweet and lovely as a good dessert. Wow, that was fun. Until we meet again. And I like her. She's a nice first gym. Um, and it's, it's nice to have a bug type gym leader. I don't think we've had a bug type gym leader as the first gym leader in a while. So we got Rotom Phone. Nimona. Hey, Chris. Just had to tell you my Pokemon are learning some pretty cool new moves. Be ready. How'd I go to the gym, by the way? I passed. Haha, <laughs> I mean, it's obvious you were gonna pass, but congrats. I'm so glad I encourage you to take on the gyms. I'm training hard, by the way, day and night, going all over the place to boot. Thank goodness we got the map app. It helps a ton with figuring out what to go, um, where to go next, especially with huge places like Paldea. After all, the path is getting stronger usually. Ha Wait. After all, the... The path to getting stronger usually has some strange stops and detours. Speaking of going to strange places, I wonder what Arvin's up to. Anyways, catch up with you later. I hope you know I'm gonna w want to battle if we run into each other. Cool. Okay, guys. So, that was the first gym. We beat gym leader Katie. Um, and yeah, guys, I'm going to leave it there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe for more Pokemon content. I'm going to be dropping a whole bunch as this new generation starts. And yeah, let me know what your favorite Pokemon from this generation is in the comments. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.